from across the country. Tributes are pouring into two Navy SEALs, believed to have given their lives in the line of duty. The Navy says those men were 27-year-old Special Warfare Operator 2nd Class Gage Ingram from Trophy Club and 37-year-old Special Warfare Operator 1st Class Chris Chambers. We mourned the loss. When we first heard they were missing, we were hopeful for a, a different outcome. The Navy says 10 days ago, Ingram and Chambers were sent on a nighttime raid in the Arabian Sea. They were trying to board a ship suspected of carrying Iranian weapons to Houthi forces in Yemen. The Navy says one of the SEALs fell into the sea and the other dove in after to try and perform a rescue. Both men were lost in the waves. And after days of searching, the Navy says Ingram and Chambers are now presumed dead. It is more challenging. It is a military operation uh, and unfortunately had this tragic outcome. Mark Balmer is a former Navy Rear Admiral who managed SEAL operations like the one Ingram and Chambers were sent on. He says trying to secure a moving ship for a search while in open water presents serious risks. You would not expect that vessel to cooperate. So it's moving through the seas. The seas are rough. The, the operation is happening at night. Uh, it has So it just has many uh, inherent risks associated with it that make it more challenging. Experts say they'll want to see the results of an investigation into the operation. But SEALs go into these scenarios knowing their lives are on the line. It's, it's just a, a dangerous operation and unfortunately things went wrong.